Turncoat, the last one. All set to go in the 1986 Rothmans July Handicap. Down at the 2,200 meter mark. South Africa stands still as we wait for the handlers to go around now to look at Supreme Sovereign. Just about dislodged his jockey. They'll be racing in his second. And the gates are open. They off and running. The fully enchanted garden got away smartly from Voodoo Charm and Supreme Sovereign. Occult is getting up there as well. There goes the red cap and Felix Kutsi has gone to the front on Fool's Home from Barrier 18. Paddy wins getting Model Man pretty handy. Turncoat and Wild West in the thick of things. Then we go back to Fifth Amendment. They were followed by Uncle Percy and Laylor. Yobani must be racing 10 lengths off them. Near the back is Brewmaker and North Star. It's now Occult. The blue colours of Occult has taken over. Fool's Home racing second. Mullard is one and two. I can see Model Man is making use of his lightweight as he has gone up to racing third place. Enchanted Garden has dropped back into fourth place along the fence. Now they're coming into view down at the 1400 metre mark. And Occult has slowed the pace down by one and a half lengths. Fool's Home second. On the outside, Model Man's racing a neck third. They were followed by Myth Amend Fifth Amendment and Enchanted Garden. Wild West is getting closer to those leaders now. They were followed by Fair Value. Turncoat and Jeff Lloyd about six, seven lengths off the leader. Then came Yamani Gondolier. Stuck on the fence of Supreme Sovereign. Then Brubaker. Uncle Percy must be ten lengths off the leader. North Star back second to last. And Laylaw is last in the July field. As they go through the 1,000 meter mark, it's Occult, Marty Leisure and Occult. One and a half lengths clear of the favourite Fool's Home, but Paddy wins a short head behind on the three-year-old model man, and Wild West is passing horses all the time now, and Wild West going to race third now, as Fool's Home eases back slightly along the fence. They were followed by Voodoo Charm, then the fully enchanted garden, Fair Value. Lloyd still going well on turncoat, then came Simvalize and Gondolier. As they swung for home in the 86th July, Millard led, but this time it's Occult. Model Man goes up to join him now, and Kutsi's going for his run on the inside on Fool's Home. It's Occult, Fool's Home, Model Man behind that Enchanted Garden. It's still anybody's race. Occult is keeping running. Model Man on the outside from Fool's Home. It's going to be close. The fully Enchanted Garden's there. Now it's Occult on the inside. Fool's Home, Model Man's got in the, in the take-up still. It's Occult and Fool's Home, Model Man, Enchanted Garden. Mullard's going to run one, two, three. Occult keeping running. Occult has won it from Fool's Home. Enchanted Garden ran third. The fourth place it went to the three-year-old Model Man. Terence Mullard has done it. He's run one, two, and three. I can hardly believe it, but Occult took over, that's Occult, the black and blue, a long way out, Body Leisure slowed the pace down, Felix could see went for his run, on the favourite Fool's Home on the inside, just couldn't grab him, in the meantime that game little three-year-old Enchanted Garden got the better of Model Man close home to snatch the third place, and Model Man ran a great race as well, let it be said straight away, Paddy Wynn I think did the right thing, there's the replay now. The black and blue colours is occult about a neck clear of Felix could see in the red cap on the on his left hand side of the screen. In the purple and white, the three-year-old fully enchanted garden with the nose band on the extreme right of your picture, model man. It looked like model man would hold on for third, but there we have now occult about a half a length clear. Felix could see fools home just not getting the distance, about a neck difference there. Enchanted Garden finishing well on the outside to complete the unbelievable Mullard 1-2-3. There's Occult. They've got about 80 to go now. Barty Leisha riding a great race. Very balanced. Felix could see with the stick in his left hand. Just not going to do it. Watch the Philly Enchanted Garden and Sutherland coming for third. They just grabbed Model Man. There it is. Occult about a length to the favourite Fool's Home. Then Enchanted Garden. The fourth place in by Net Model Man. That's Jeff Lloyd in the Sangster Colours running fifth on turncoat. But that's unimportant at this stage because I'm going to say the first three were Millard. Official placings. First, number 17, Occult. Brilliantly ridden by Barty Leisha. Carrying 50 and a half. And the last price I had was 7 to 1. Second uh, official is the favourite Fool's Home. Sadly, meeting his first defeat in our country, ridden by Felix Kutsi and trained by Millard. They've put up a photo finish for the third sign, and I guess there's a lot of people hoping that it went to the game Little Philly Enchanted Garden, because this will definitely be, be the first time that a trainer has trained one, two, and three in the Rothmans July. The winning, official winning distance I've just been handed is three quarters of a length. So Uckhold won by three quarters of a length, but we're still waiting for this all-important third placing, and it's going up now. 
I can hear the roar of the crowd. It's gone to number nine, Enchanted Garden. Millard has done it. One, two, and three. The fourth place into the Natal three-year-old model man, ridden by Paddy Wynn and trained by Patrick Lund.